everyone, this is Santa Crane the Heart, and I am back with day two of the Pink Fresh Studio Create and Connect virtual workshop event. It's a mouthful. So um, on this day, we did watercoloring, which I still kind of suck at. I am not great at it. Um, we also used various products that we got in our kit that are sort of general products. They weren't specific to a class. So I don't think I use this one. I think we use the frames. I think I use this dye. Um, we might have used a sentiment here. So we'll, we'll see. Um, but anyway, this first class is wait, wait, of the day and Sunday was um, hand-picked flowers. So in the class, the instructor just was teaching us how to do watercolor, which... I just am not good at it. <laughs> it just doesn't float my boat. So I'll show you what I did. And, you know, I didn't have the exact color she had either. Um, I just have various different watercolor palettes that I have in my in my stash. And so that just had to be okay. And then the dye came with the dye, handpicked flowers dye. And then um, it also comes with two other dyes for You Are So Great and Thanks, which are on the stamp set. And then it came with a whole slew of stencils. This was like a big stenciling. Two, three, four, five, six. And I didn't clean these stencils yet. That's why they're not in the packaging because I'm going to clean them before I put them away. Um, so if you want to see the other cards that I made on day one make sure you watch the other videos and um if you haven't subscribed i'd love if you subscribed um i also have an instagram i'm gonna have to mention that more in my videos i'm starting to do more instagram so anyway um so let's see this is the watercolor ones and i actually like how this one came out um, it's not, this one's not so bad. This is on a mini slim and I use the two different sized frames and then you are so great is, um, a sentiment from the stamp set. And this is watercolor paper that came in our kit. We got um, watercolor paper. So what I did was I stamped it with, God, what is it? Um, the, the Wendy Vecchi archival ink. I really don't like this ink. <laughs> It is just like, it does not, it's not black enough for me. So like you stamp it, you stamp it, you stamp it, and it still just looks all faded out. And so, I don't know. And, and it's, uh, I just struggle with it. Maybe it needs, it's not juicy. I don't know. But I hardly ever use it. So I don't understand why that is. But um, so what I did was I went ahead and I stamped that ink on the watercolor paper. And then I went ahead and I die cut it. So I die cut it before I even finished watercoloring. I die cut it. And then I white watercolored and my colors are no way the colors that were used, I don't think really, in that class. I think maybe sort of, but I kind of made an executive decision. I decided I wanted pink and purple flowers and yellow and little bits of green. So that's what I did. And what I discovered is it was a very washed out looking when I was done. So I went over it with my, I think I've got it handy so I can show you, with this Faber-Castell Pit Artist pen. And so it's a fine point. This one's a fine point. And I went, fairly fine I think, but I went over it, all of the black, I went over it with that pen and I think it looks smashing that way. So that's what I did. And then once I did that, it really popped. So that made me happy. And then there's some gems on here. So there, that one's not so bad. This one is, I don't know, I ended up with like a brown flower. It's supposed to be orange, but it looks, seriously, it looks brown. Um, but I did the same thing. I went over it with the green, with the black pen, and it looks so much better than it did before. Trust me on that. And then it, the card called for us to just use it as a panel and layer the panel on top of the card base. However, the watercolor paper is like a cream color. It's like an off-white. And so it looked terrible on top of this card because the way that it's cut down is just, it does not look good. 
So, and it just made it also continue with the washed out look. So I went ahead and I used the dye and I die cut it and used the black pen and it looks so much better. And then I just used um, liberal amounts of the gems that came in our workshop kit. And then I used the sentiment, uh, miss, miss you so much. So there you go. Then the make and take for the day, because every class comes with, you make two cards in the, in the class, and then it comes with a PDF for a third card that you make on your own. And I also really love this card, and I love how it came out. So I did the same thing. I This is not watercolor, though. This is inked. So I stamped it in black. I used Memento, Tuxedo Black, and then I stenciled it with the stencils, and I think it came out really, really pretty. And then I used the die to die cut it. And then I went ahead and I went over it with a black pit pen because I had it out. And then you take your image and you cut it in half. So one half goes on the top, one half goes on the bottom. And then that's pretty much your card. Thanks for being who you are. That came in the stamp set. And the thanks style also came there as well. And then I did just a few gems at the bottom and at the top. And so I made a lot of cards. These are all the cards that I made in this class. So my absolute favorite cards that I made um, were I really, really loved... Um, the ones that use the gold embossing, I really, where's that other one that I, maybe it's this and this and now I can't even find it. Um, there was another one. Oh, this one, duh. So these were my favorite cards. This one uses the peony pan, the peony fantasy and it was gold embossed. And this one is the butterfly garden that was gold embossed. And those are my favorite, but I really loved all of them. And I did learn how to really use um, their product, which I think is really important because I think, you know, you kind of like have to know how to use their product because all of their product works a little bit differently. Um, I really loved the class. I think the kit was worth the money. I think, I wanna say it was $250. For the kit but you got a lot of product i mean we got a lot of product and so um i've got one more class to share with you and then you can see i forgot that i have one more class <laughs> i have one more class to share with you because there was two on sunday so i'm going to go ahead and share that in another video um and you can see all of that and maybe um look at my instagram because i'm going to start really doing more with my instagram so you can then see um, all the things that I that I did. If, you know, I'll put all this stuff over here. Okay, so that one actually came out really good. That was a watercolored one, and surprised myself. But the other one with the brown flower blue. Anyway, thank you for watching this is Cindy Cranthart.